Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew After Dark. Literally this time. Yeah. How do you like the lighting? I don't know. <laughs> Trying something out. Yeah. Um, it's just literally too hot to keep all the lights on. It so is. Hopefully it's way it, too it hot. gives it atmosphere. I don't know. It's some kind of atmosphere. Yeah. So I've gone into my archives and I got it. I got it. I got it. Woo! I got it. Uh, these are the remaining games, yes. plus, plus a couple I don't have. I think yeah. I have don't have Private Eye. That's it. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think that's the only one I don't have is Private Eye. Yeah. Because that never sounded very interesting to me. Um, I might have it somewhere actually in a box. Oh, ooh, fancy. Actually, I might have it in the box. So um, these are not your choices because <laughs> some of them I don't want to play today mm. because they're too long. Mm. Or I just played them. Uh, Boxing Bridge Checkers are not official patch games. Mm -hmm. um, I did, I think I played the boxing one and I earned the homebrew patch mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. We have not played Bridge or Checkers for the homebrew patch. Um, but we will do it eventually. We're just doing official ones today. Private eyes are watching you. They see your every move. <laughs> That's a cheesy song from the 80s. Is that Durant Possibly Durant? seven. No, it's not. And somebody, yeah, somebody who, wanted who, the... Who uh, sang that song? It's like Hall and Oates or something? No, somebody you've, you wouldn't know. I, I don't think oh, it's a very known person. That's, Hall and Oates? It, Someone else said Hall and Oates! Was it? Song. Private Eyes song. Oh, it is! Yeah, Hall and Oates! Yeah, nostalgic! Woo! Ten points for Tanya. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. It's one of those bands. So, welcome to After Dark, everybody. We're going to be playing a viewer's choice Activision patch game tonight. Mm. But unlike terrible polls on the internet that let people fill in the blanks, we're going to let you choose from what we choose. <laughs> <laughs> Never let the internet choose the name of your boat, mm. or else you end up with Bodie McBoatface. Hey, that's right. Um, <laughs> uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Mm. Al, uh, 8 Bit Swami, Alan the Fur, Arms Car, Coder, Atari HB, R, Pocock, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, 2D Catalogs, Charles and Chag, Charles Wheeling, Chive, 574, Coconut, Danny VC, Direct Soul, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Jedekiah, Johnny WC, Juan Yorado, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, 2600, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Make Muse, Make Soul, Misk Man, MK Smith, Mr. Zonderwoop, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nay, Nye Under, Nye Under, I'll get it eventually, a couple weeks. Uh, Pack Rav, VG, Koag, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pimp, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, Esmeralds, The D-Trained, Washman, 89, Tiki, Dan K, TM Events, Trek, MD, and everybody else who subscribed. I think they were already on the list on the show, the normal show. Um, so I think your name was already on there. If it you was. want to support the show, you can get your name on there too. Just click subscribe and your name will be on there. But it's free if you have Amazon Prime. So... Mm -hmm. Don't pay if you don't have to. They'll pay for you. They'll yes. take a chunk of your money that you're already paying for Amazon Prime and shoot it in a direction because yeah. and give it you to might as us. well. So think about that. Yeah. Jeff Bezos, Atari, Atari. Um, zero page homebrew. Zero page homebrew. <laughs> it's your choice. Yeah. He doesn't need that extra little bit he of does, fuel. He really, He's got enough really fuel doesn't. to go to space. No. <laughs> Z page picture looks so different in this lighting. Yeah, it's probably pretty sparkly. Because oh. the way it reflects. I yeah. It's a crooked. I could turn on the light, but it's kind of buzzy. It goes, eh, yeah. Eh, Here, do you want to see eh, it in action? You can turn it I don't on. turn it on very often, so. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching us live. Captain Classic, RC7E, Metal Atari, Charles Whelan, Nostalgic, Atari 2600 Dude, Beam Rider Real, we have, already have the patch for. And that's an awesome game. It was challenging to get the patch. How you doing? Oh. Sure uh, Charles Reese, Crossbow, uh, Adam H, 9700, Captain Classic, uh, Major Havoc, didn't Jumped even in. say his name Hooray. last time, Dan, have yeah. you Mike Saul, everybody else who is yes. still hanging around RC70. Uh, yes, Tanya made this, by the way. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the sparkles a little bit better in the, in the, in the light. So these are, oh, you guys can't even see the games. It's a shame. Pack Rat's still here. Woo! Pack Rat! Thank you for sticking around. So we're going to show you what all the games that we have left. <laughs> and the D-Train! Uh, so, oh, wrong way. 
Everything's backwards. Uh, so I have Enduro, Hero, Star Master, Grand Prix, Dragster, Crackpots, Dolphin, Kaboom, Decathlon, Laser Blast, Pitfall 2, Robot Tank, and Space Shuttle, because there's plastic on it, you can't really see it. So those are all the games left, plus Private Eye. Um, but I don't have that cartridge, I don't think, so I'll have to pick it up one day. Then I'll have most of the Activision games in one form or the, or the other mm -hmm. in Actiplac goodness. Um, so, the ones that you guys will be able to choose from... Can I put it on the... Um, over there? Will it show? Yeah, what we'll do is move it these to the off. side. Oh, you could put them there. Yeah. Yep. I was going to say next to the frame. Yeah, no, there's no room. <laughs> there. Look at that. That's a nice display. Yeah. There we go. Very colorful. Right uh, next to the, the pixel. The ones you can Pixel's choose. Hot. The ones you can choose from are Crackpots, Dragster, Enduro, Hero, Kaboom, Pitfall 2, and Private Eye. Mm. I hear level four is easier than level three, Star Master. I think mm. somebody said that last time as well. So We've got a vote for Crackpots. We've got a vote for Enduro. Two votes for Hero. Now, the ones I have played before, I've played Crackpots, played Hero, played Kaboom. Mm. The rest I have not. On the, on the stream. On the stream. Yeah. Um, what am I going to vote for? I am... Maybe I shouldn't vote because it's, it's, it's no, the viewer's choice. No, it's only one. It's only one. Well, there's only, only so one. many people here. Very true. So if I cast a vote, it'll be like, oh, that's the game you're playing. Mm. You have all those beautiful games. Yes, they are beautiful. They, I love the colors on them. They're I do just too. wonderful. The, yeah. the rainbow at, um, matches their rainbow logo that exactly. they use. Exactly. Except that some of that is actually more fading than original. Well, yeah. Um, I'm pretty uh, sure Dragster is not that faded of <laughs> pink. Yeah. The Kaboom's quite bright. Dolphin's yeah, quite bright. Some of them Hero's still, very faded. The last one, the Space Shuttle, is a completely different kind of color, actually. Yeah. It's blue. But I tried to sort them via the... The faded uh, label <laughs> the faded colors. Oh. Yeah. yeah. If there's a tie, cast the tiebreaker. Yeah, yes. I think that's fair. That's, that's a very, very fair, fair way of doing it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Crackpot's patch is very hard to get. Mm. It's It gets crazy hectic, and I don't remember being really close. I was like maybe 60 or 70% of the way there. Hero was, I think it was about... 80% of the way there. Mm. Pack right. Technically, you could vote twice. So if you mm. voted for the wrong one... You could do you that. You could put the one you wanted, but they would be balanced out equally, just so you know. Just installed a 3080 today. Ooh, what? How'd Ooh. you get that? With a rainbow light that's matching a ZPH <laughs> atmosphere quite nicely right now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Pack right, just type in a different number. It at least sway it more towards the one you wanted. Yeah. There, there you, you go. go. So... How are we doing? How Crack long are Pots we giving people? Is in first place right now, forty percent. Then Hero is behind that, and Pack Rep voted for Hero, so that's actually supposed to be a two, because um, he voted for Crackpots after. So that puts he Crackpots two votes ahead of Enduro and Hero. Mm. So I think we're pretty petered out. Oh, and another one for Crackpots. <laughs> it is a high action game. Mm. It's not too long. Mm. Uh, it is hard. It is hard. But I... So it's a nice one to do, actually. Yeah. Because it's, it's right in the middle. It's not like, oh, this takes a half an hour to get it. What uh, controller do you use for it again? Just a joystick. Is, oh, it's just a joystick. The, the, the only one that doesn't use a joystick a, is Kaboom. A... Kaboom, so I'm okay. It's similar to, it's very similar yeah, to Yeah, but Kaboom. you don't use um, the, uh, the racing controller or anything like that. No, no. No, okay. No, you move a joystick. Okay, fair enough. I won a new egg shuffle. Oh, and decided to pay too much for the thing. Couldn't let my new PC go to waste for years. Mm. Yeah, I can understand that. Having a new, new computer and then no video card to put in it. <gasps> or an old video card to put in it. And then Adam H put one in for Hero which is actually at three. And then, oh, another vote for Enduro. So unless 
Middle turn. Enduro or Hero get two more votes. We're going to go with Crackpots yeah. right now. Oh, is this the... What is that? Oh, it's a Crackpot score. Mm. Let's take a look at that for the High Score Club. Oh, that's the wrong browser. That's okay. Let's copy that out. And put it over here so we can take a look at that. And luckily, I have played crackpots before so i don't really need a refresher mm. on how to play it i'm not very good at it i will just be there to give him a break from time to time yeah i'm no nowhere not a friggin chance i'm gonna do well at this game i remember us playing it and me just being like this is not going well so <laughs> it's a hard game crackpots yeah it's very hard um oh weeks yeah. played season one week 30 season four week 12 this has been played a lot average score is actually above the 75,000. Mm. Probably because some people have scored half a million. Um, yeah, people do pretty well at it, actually. So, let's see, 30, 31 people got the patch score. Mm. A lot of uh, very familiar names. Uh, Oyama Family, who's amazing at games. Mm -hmm. Spiceware is there, the likes in television. Uh, Stan Jr. Oh, these are... Oh, people have submitted multiple because it's over mm. multiple different times. Okay. And Kyle Baca. Kiel Baca. Wow. 580,000. is has just destro destroyed. Destroyed it with <gasps> all four wow. of their scores. 2006. Wow. Median score is 58K. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, 100%. <sighs> Look at the next person <gasps> down. 62% wow. of That's the high score. That's also the same person. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. Percent of average, 727. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, pretty. Oh, Dan, Dan, Danny VC, 6,000. Oh, Nathan Strum, come on. Get better. <laughs> you can do better than that. Captain Classic, I see on there. Oh, was he? Yeah, a little oh. higher up. Oh, no, that's Maybe Classic. A little higher up. Captain Classic, 58. Yeah, 47. 47. Yeah. Captain Classic. Spiceware. Yeah. yeah. Oh, lots of familiar names. Familiar names. <laughs> Kai ba Kel, Kel, Kiel, Kel? Kiel Baca. Kiel Baca. Yeah. Yep. Definitely does skew the oh, average. Oh, yeah. So you have spoken and crackpots it is. All right. Let's see if the cartridge works. Do I need to bring down the uh, isopropanol? Well, I believe we played this one before, so you may okay. not need to. Not as necessary. Well, let's see. Oh. Eyelash in my eye. Um, so let's see. Oh, blue screen. Let's try and get that better. Come on, crackpots. You can do it. You may have to bring it down. Okay. Um, get the ice broken. We can play it off of the harmony cart. It's so much better using the real cartridge. It's not happening right now. Ah, eyelash, my eye. Oh my god. Oh, the uh, the list is two years out of date. Nobody's updated it. Ah, that would uh, that would do it. So, we're going to use the uh, Harmony cart until it's clean. Okay. And I will let you play the first game. Oh, yeah, that's going to not last very long. But, why not? There we go. Harmony cart's working. So let's get the uh, cartridge art up, at least. Let's browse for that. What is happening? Why is that taking so long? Oh my god. Season 8 with the, was the latest. 9 partially. Oh, on the list. Okay, Activision. And then we're doing Crackpots. There we go. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh my god, that was loud. Sorry, everybody. Me? Yeah, that was really loud. Was it loud? Oh, okay. Play. Warm up the joystick. Which joystick? 
This the one, one in front of you. Oh, okay. It's on. Uh, so go to 77 to 92. That's the original stuff. A little bit of dirt. Yeah. A little bit of uh, oxidation coming off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it could be dust, though. Dust, cat. You can go to the right. Oh, that's right. Crackpots.bin. Yep. Oh, this is not going to go well. Okay. Of course. Positive. Oh, this is positive. filthy. Yeah. Filthy. Yeah. Probably not been used. Press reset because it's old. What? It's not working. Oh, you're not even moving. Well, I didn't know you pressed press reset, so. Oh. Well, you're you, pressing you buttons. You needed to. Uh... Yeah. Sorry. I didn't realize you had started. Oh, yeah. Things are moving. Noises are happening. Okay, this is filthy. I need more. Kicking ass. Getting all the spiders. Yay, level one! Oh, so noisy. <laughs> oh, so noisy. How do you open this? So I don't drink it, right? Yeah, you don't want to drink Protected it. it against myself. Just letting you know. Drinking so is a bad idea. So tempted to drink this. Look at this. So pure, ninety-nine percent. <laughs> oh yes. But that one percent. Oh my God! <laughs> that I 1%. don't like this one. It's not good. <laughs> ninety-two. Yep, yeah, ninety-two was the last year oh, a an Atari twenty-six hundred game. Well, ninety-two was when they discontinued the system. So that's when I consider everything after that homebrew. Because I don't think anything was. And it was also the last retail game that was put out for Atari 2600, which I believe was Clax in the PAL region. And then after that, there was three years? Three or four years? And then the first homebrew game was put out. There were zero games between that. Because nobody was wanted to sell games. It already slowed down way, way, way down. Um, looks like Crackpots was played last in Season 10. Charles V says this game is so good. It is good, but freaking hard, man. And is Dan, this a Dan... Uh, Dan Kitchen's game. Dan Kitchen's game, yeah. Yeah. Graphics are amazing. The gameplay is amazing. It's it's crazy, just like most games back then were. The concept is crazy. Spiders climbing up walls. At least it's it's a, in the realm of realism. Sort you of. can drop plants. Spiders can crawl up walls. I don't know what the largest spider is, but it could be that big. There are very big spiders out there. Oh, go to Australia. Mostly in Australia. Whoa. Oh, two and one. Good. Good. Ah! Ah! Uh oh. It's jump, kind jump, of, jump. Um, jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. I find those is, it feels so random where they end up being. I haven't played this in a long time because I usually don't put the cover art in the box. And all I have scenes I have is the cover art. Yeah. I'll have to correct that. Oh my god, this is so hard. Especially if I get the patch, which I won't. What is the patch? 50,000? 75. So you're one-tenth of the way there. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it That's gets... insane! It gets insane. Let's see what I got last time. Let's See. Oh my god. Crack hearts. So I've only tried to get the patch once and I got 50,660. It's not bad. It's not close. 50,000? Yeah. 660. Oh my god, that is pretty good. It's that not means it's terrible. within. Was there no bug spray in the 80s? There's bug spray. Apparently. 
Deadly, Actually, deadly bug spray. Bug spray that caused a lot more problems than just killing bugs. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if this first round of cleaning did it. Nope. Nope. Oh, Pixel's being super cute. Why are you in this room, Pixel? It's so hot. Nice. Okay, my turn. Original. You reset. Me? Okay, ready? Yep. Everyone else see the cute pixel? Can you not unwind the ball on the top of this the when ball? you play? I don't even notice. It's all spinny and loose when I picked it up. It's just very, very stressful. Right? <laughs> no, it happens naturally. Only 12 of 43 of the HSC S10 players were able to patch, so only about 25%. Whoa. Of season 10? Yes, season 10 players. Huntsman spiders, yes. Huntsman, how big are they? Those are big. Those are the Australian ones, I think. We have some pretty big ones here, too. I don't think they're dangerous, but... Damn it. Wolf ah! spiders? Are they wolf spiders we have here? I don't know of any big spiders I think, here. I think they're called wolf spiders. I can't remember, but... They're very big, and they're oh very scary-looking, but they don't, they don't kill you. Need concentration. Pixel is so cute right now. He's like sleeping in the 29 degree heat in this room. Oh my god. Terrible. So every fourth round you get a reprieve of black spiders. I'm trying to remember the name of the um, insecticide that was really dangerous that people used in their homes. DDT. DDT? Well, that was a more of a widespread commercial. DTT. No, DTT. D it was DDT. DDT, okay. Which it's... they don't use anymore, but they credit with the resurgence of bed bugs because it used to kill bed, bed bugs. Oh my god, it missed the bloody pot. And it was incredibly effective. Unfortunately, also toxic. Those are horrible. The green ones are even worse. Yeah, uh, no, those are worst. No, the green ones are even worse. These guys, Ugh. they move so much. Oof, good ending. What? Why is there a pause there? DDT is what you use in Milky. Yeah, I'm not yeah, surprised. Yeah, it's actually in the game. I was yeah. trying to think of that. I, I was thinking it was a... Um, Donkey Kong 3? Apparently we had a lot of issues with you bugs. spray it in Donkey Kong 3 for Donkey Kong. In the 80s? It was all about Raid and DDT. Yeah. Yeah. God. Hey, Camille Freya. Welcome, Welcome to my death. Welcome to my death. Uh, my bug death. Now I'm in trouble. This is one of those games that gets harder the longer you play it. Oh, the yeah. more you are, the worse you are at it, the harder it is. The worse you are at it, the harder it is. Isn't that true for most games? <laughs> no, it. The game. <laughs> The game literally gets harder. Oh, it does. It 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 uh, makes your um, inevitable inevitable death come closer and closer, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty messed up. You get less time to drop the. Charles has a question Pots. for you, but I am not going to ask it until sure. you have a break. Oh, you okay? there's no breaks. There okay. are no breaks in this game. Uh, James, I wanted to ask you if you have some inside info about Casey's goal. They said in your interview it would be released in summer, and it's summer. <laughs> uh, games take longer than <laughs> anticipated sometimes. I no, no insider info, though, at this none point. None that I can give. Oh, I see. Oh, he does have insider info. Well. Not really, though. <laughs> it's done when it's done. Yeah. Oh, I just barely passed that one. Oh my god. I have to 
say when I see the craft box guy, I actually picture Dan Kitchen being at the top. Yes. A younger Dan Kitchen dropping. This mustache. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, his uh, documentary about him just came out. Oh I, yeah. I did put that up on the zero page. Oh nice. Uh, yeah, page, yeah, yeah. I believe. Um, well, it didn't just come out; it came out for free, so you can watch it on uh, YouTube now. Oh, good. Captain Classic says, like Kaboom, as you lose, it becomes harder to catch bombs. Oh, Kaboom's even worse. And then Captain Classic James probably has an NDA. <laughs> no, he's he can just keep secrets, that's all. That's, NDAs, that's no NDAs required. It's a good, it's a good uh, quality to have. Yes. Q. I, <laughs> I do have to keep a lot of secrets. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to die. Oh, green spiders are worse. What are worse? Green spiders, fluorescent blue spiders, or black spiders? I don't know. Not the black. Black are fine. I am most terrified by stripy spiders, actually. In real life? Yeah, because uh, some there's some big stripy spiders, and they're completely harmless, but they're terrifying looking. The blue are nothing. They just... Yeah, this would be fun with paddles. I agree. It would change the game completely. Yeah. It would be a different game, but still fun. Activision game, it might be deterministic. Maybe restart the game via power reset and see if the spiders come in the same pattern. I don't think I could memorize the pattern that they come in. Uh, oh god. There might be a memorizable pattern. Who knows? Uh, maybe. And if you don't finish the level, you have to do it again. I feel like the um, termites are in cahoots with the spiders in this game. Because it's not a spider eating the wall. It's got to be a termite. Unless there are there bugs that eat concrete and brick. Oh, probably. I bet there, are. there probably are. Bugs are pretty. Uh, pretty four. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Cute. <laughs> oh, jumping spiders are super cute. Yeah. <laughs> terrifying, but cute. No, they're tiny. They're so terrifying. They eat all the flies, all the things you don't want. Yeah, that's very true. Spiders are awesome. I, I, I don't hate spiders. I don't like big ones. They're a little, little frightening. But well, yeah. Because they do bite. And, and some are poisonous. I, I, you cannot make it back. When, when it's this low, you cannot go from the right to the left. Mm -mm. And this, this is a level I'm going to do. Oh my god, I did it. Oh, yeah. I think that's it? Because mm -hmm. you don't really have lives. You have... Oh, oh my god, yeah, all right. Oh, there are ways of like doubling up on spiders as they you can hit them when they're crawling along the bottom there yeah. are there are tactics yeah. which i'm going to read up on oh my god it it's makes you do it going? again i'm i'm quite shocked you to get a few extra points in there I guess. it's not lives though it's just wall length right yeah yeah it's just wall length i can't I believe that's... i made it oh, oh my god you did good job Everyone wants to play Casey's Gold. That is the end. The yeah. copyright pops up. Can't you just spam on the first and second pot all the time to catch them as they come out of the drain? Theoretically, but they don't spawn. The pots don't spawn back as very quickly. Fast enough to do that. Yeah. 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 So 40, 460. Not a terrible first go. No. Do you need a break? Oh, yeah. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Alrighty. I just wanted to know because I want to play Casey's Gold. Mm -hmm. We all do. Screenshots make it look super cool. Uh, okay, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, that's a demo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can somebody put that score down? 40? I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Just in case, that's the best I do, which is probably not, because I, I messed up pretty early.
Like, and it's very stressful. I'm going to look up strategies for this oh. game. Hitting the flower pot when you need to is, is a pretty big strategy, I think. Yeah. Get the bugs with the pots. That's a good strategy. <laughs> These are so hard. They're so hard. Why are they so hard? <laughs> is it? Is that oh, like regular hard? Yeah, it is. No, no strategy there. There's a video on it's how it's played. And you burned your pack. Uh, let's just look up. Oh. oh my god, that was terrible. Look up the manual with the probably the, the silly ones that tell you how to play. Tips from Dan Kitchen. Crackpots, blah, blah 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 blah. Play the sidewalk. Try to hit the bugs when they're crawling along the sidewalk or when they're just coming out of the sewer. The closer they get to the windows, the less time you'll have to wreck. Yeah. When you're up in the higher levels, the bugs will crawl too fast for you to get rid of them all. You're better off playing, say, the three selected windows in the middle. It's okay if a few crawlers get in on the extreme right or left. You only have to get seven out of the twelve bugs to go to the next level. That's true. Oh, God. They move so fast. Notice that the red bugs end up two windows away from there where they begin their diagonal climb. Okay. Yeah, but who's, who's keeping track of red bugs where they start? And there's four on the screen at a time. Actually, that does kind of make sense. Oh, God. This is actually one of the games I played in the 80s. Uh, my friend's 2600. It was just as hard back then. <laughs> it's actually harder. I'm, I'm sure I do much better now at this. This is terrible! Uh, keep this in mind, you'll still be dropping the right pot at the right time. Then, if you still can't stamp out bugs, but you, you can always buy the original Inner City Bug Killer. A pair of shoes with pointed toes. <laughs> you could call the game hotline. Pretty sure we have before. Mm. Oh, people are trying to keep track. Uh, crossbow, close enough, I think. That, that's probably close enough. We know you have a beta ROM of Casey's Gold. No, I don't. Not yet. He wishes. Yeah. Uh, he's still working on it. He's still working on it. I wish. But as soon as I have it and I am able to let you know, I will let you know. But I probably will not be able to let you know <laughs> if I do have it. Uh, due to NDAs. NDAs. Well, with, yeah, I did last actually time. Actually, true. I had to, I had to Damn it. do an NDA last time. I couldn't even say I had it. Oh. Yeah, I can see they're starting to where they start. But that they do, but it doesn't really it help. It doesn't help too much. Somebody needs to make a, home, make a homebrew of this and put Negan in Smashing Spider using Lucille. No idea. It's terrible. I find the green ones terrible. I just can't Cons figure them out. Considering the spiders are as big as windows, I'd probably be running away at this point. Yeah. Well, for some I'd reason... I'd be looking for a new apartment. For some reason, you're stuck at the top of the building with no escape, so I'm guessing the termites or whatever bugs that are eating the building have taken over the building. I made it last. Shockingly. By one bug, maybe? Because you didn't get any bonus, that's why. Do you get extra points for hitting two? That's a good question. Level, blah, blah, blah. Nope. No, you don't. That's amazing that you don't get extra points for hitting two spiders with one pot. Oof. 
314-5264. Level one. Ah. Yeah, level keep, one isn't a problem though, my friend. Keep it up. <laughs> keep it up, Captain Classic. <laughs> yeah. I want to see if if there is a pattern. Yeah, let's see. Oh, oh, Even oh. if there was a pattern, I don't think that will help. Um, level when, one. <laughs> when you get to it, okay. Oh. Reset. Oh. Let's see if Captain Classic is uh, gets it right again. All right. Three. No, sorry, messed no. up. <laughs> Kitties. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You yeah. don't lose points for dropping pots. No. Nope. So you can drop all the pots you want. Mm -hmm. Which is. Oh, good... you do, but it's the um, rejuvenation rate of the flowers. So it's a good tactic to go nuts on the pots. Yes, but when it gets too. Uh, when you're too close to the bottom, it kind of falls apart because then you have a pot you want to drop and there's no pot there, kind of thing. So. See, I should have got massive points for three spiders in one I pot. I agree. I agree. Nice. Six. Oh. Wonder if our uh, cute little skunk will come back to me. Yeah, I don't know if we finished that story. Uh, there's oh, an actual yeah. skunk. We were like... What's that smell? Yeah, we were convinced. James was convinced it was pot. No. No, you were like, I don't think that's a skunk. And I'm like, no, no, that's just that's really bad, really bad pot. If if that's pot, it's <laughs> definitely a skunk. And then we actually saw it. Oh, so cute. It was so close to us too. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> um, because we were coming out up upstairs upstairs outside, and it was like, oh my gosh, there's a skunk right there. It looked young. Yeah, it, was it wasn't small. It wasn't a big size. skunk. Um, teenage skunk, maybe? I don't know. Teenage skunk. Yeah, teenage skunk. This new is pumpkin. That's actually a great pumpkin. <laughs> uh, one, three, one, four, five, four, six, four, 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 two, five. Call me. <laughs> uh, it, is, it, is, it clearly is deterministic. One, four, five, four, two, six. Oh no, it's, it's the same. I don't remember the one though. Level one didn't have a one. It went three and then something else. Another person saying, "Hey, this should be a pattern game." <laughs> <laughs> Dropping pots well, early is is. Oh my god. I'm there, sorry. there is kind of a catch though when you're above the pot. Like, I don't know. Ah. I think it's more precise with the joystick. Well, yeah, that's the... Because uh, you have to stop and hit the button. You have to do it anyway with Unlike, the paddle, too. But no, but with Kaboom, you just... It's continuous movement, whereas here you uh, kind of stop and push the button to, very different to drop the pot. So it's a little different You're like way. playing the opposite in this game than Kaboom. You'd have to be very pre precise with your movements in front of the pots. But you, it might be good. It might actually work out well. I don't know. You've already, like, you've already beaten my score. It's crazy. Doing so much better. I think my best was 15,000 or something. Still better than probably the last time I played. That was good. <laughs> ah! Oh, got two of them. I'm getting very lucky. Says level two now. Two, six, four, three, five, four, four. Question mark three, one, five. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will have to use the Captain Classic method. At least try that once and yep. see how it goes. I gotta stay in the middle now. Yeah? Yeah. ZPH folks look warm. It's, uh, it's warm. toasty. <laughs> that is the uh, 28.5. Oh, cool. it's 
not cold enough anymore. How does somebody get a hundred thousand on this? Or yes. five hundred thousand? They they did the, the Captain Classic method and they memorized, memorized two, everything. Three, four, five, six, seven. How did I get fifty thousand? Nostalgic says, even though it wouldn't maximize your score, you may be able to figure out an optimal set of spiders to allow through while squishing enough to keep going. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Ah. Back and forth. Like I'm going here. No, I'm not. I'm going to this pond. They go between two windows. The black yeah. are the easiest. Even when they're fast, you can kind of like, oh no, they're going straight there. You can get a bunch at once sometimes. Blues are just missing as well. They stay in line for the most part. You so cannot not... miss them. No. When you, when you drop the pot. So they look like they're going to be worse than they are. Yeah. So you get two good levels and then two torturous levels. Sometimes you get really lucky, and sometimes it's just your timing is just just off that you miss them. Nice. Oh no! Another one down. Doing worse than last time. No, I think you're doing better. What? I got forty thousand. Yeah, but you still have a long ways to get to the bottom. Oh my god! Um, the red ones are terrible. seems to get too fast to cover the whole screen. It, it does. That's what it says in the manual. Don't bother. Yeah. It says go for the middle. Don't don't go to the sides. Stay in the middle. Ah. Middle four. Like, don't bother with the outside. You won't. You'll miss. You'll miss something. Unless you're already there. Unless you're really close to it, yeah. Yeah. Don't ignore it. If it's, oh, it's like right beside me. I'm just going to ignore it. No. God! Sometimes you just get lucky on the greens and you're, you're like... Yeah, I feel like the greens are really rando. It's still getting faster. Oh, it's terrible. Which I can't believe that it's still increasing in speed. Crazy! They're naughty! They're naughty spiders! I'd like to tend to the kitties while the two of you play the red. Oh! They are, they are pretty happy kitties. Come here, kitties! Are you gonna come and say hi? I can't. I can't like these anymore, do you? They'll eat them. They haven't had them in a while, so they're probably like, oh yeah, I'll eat some, eat some treats. I'll tend to the kitties. You gonna have some? Oh, can you see that? Damn it! Off by like one. I know you don't like these treats nearly as much. Yeah, they're coming. Ring the bell. You know this game. Sorry. You know this game. Ring the bell. No, I'm not the one who rings the bell. You're the one who rings the bell. They're like, those treats stink. Did better. You were right. There. Wet their appetite. 48, 560. I did do better. Yeah. And almost to my net, my yeah. old you top didn't score. Lose. Can you play another round while I feed the kitties, or are you okay? I'll feed the kitties. Okay, you feed the kitties, sir. 
I need a break. Someone needs to ring a bell. They're being very bad today. The pattern might be disrupted if you miss a spider. Might need to look at the source code instead to figure out if it determines what the spider window. Bring the bell, kitties. Ready? Sure. It's funny, they ate the treat. They're just not interested. But they're not interested enough to ring. Oh, there you go. Good kitty. He, f he kind of forgot how that worked for a while there. Oh, if they were good treats, he wouldn't forget. He was going oh. ding, 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 ding. Yeah, he doesn't like these treats nearly as much. Thank you, Charles Whelan, for recording my score. And he's like, nang, nang, nang. They're, they're just not fans of this food. No, but I have. I have an order ready to go with the junk food cat treats. Good kitty! Oh, you oh. do? Good kitty. Yeah, I'll probably order Oh my god, why tomorrow. is this so bad? I hate these things. Oh. oh. No, when they go fast, that means you miss them. No, but this is the easiest level. I shouldn't have done this badly. Uh, is reviewing the source code cheating? Uh, yes. Because <laughs> you're looking into how it determines which spiders come out. Well, it's... what would it be akin to? I think figuring it out by analyzing the game, just looking at it, would be like card counting. And looking at the source code would be like checking out the full deck of cards before the dealer put them out. Yeah, so that's what I would relate them to. Yeah, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Cheat away, <laughs> Cafe Man 2D. By now, I think you're safe to go ahead and look at the source code. Plus, it would be an interesting exercise anyway. Bring it. I have four more left. There you go. Well, I have five left, so. So one more round of treats. That's all you get. You've had your treats. My hand is dirty. Horrible round. Horrible. I should have rage reset. Yeah. Absolutely. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Above it, and I'm hitting the button, and nothing's happening. Well, at the I'm end, just you can't. So right? crazy. You know that, right? No, no, it's not. That's not the reason. Oh, okay. I'm I'm missing being in the right spot, and yeah. so it's just making it even worse. <laughs> for people who have never played this game, which I'm sure there's not many of them, you you can't just press the button. There are dead spots there are where, dead. if you press the button, nothing will happen. You have to be within a certain amount of spaces. Above. Oh, see? Like, I'm click, 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 click. Above the pot. Oh, my God. Mm. Be one and meld with There's the crack no, pot. There's no, no. <laughs> there is no zen -ness New cliche this has to disassemble. Oh, there you go. So you don't even have to do it. You just have to analyze it now. See if, <laughs> see if there's any random elements to it. Terrible. Yeah, that's um, Oh, so and Even if there's here. not random elements, it may just pick up on timing mm. from when the game starts which can be random enough. There we go. Okay. Reset, please. Mm -hmm. Person who doesn't play, especially in this game, because it doesn't stop. So warm. So warm. These spiders. Anybody recorded that one? <laughs> Game? No, just when they came out oh. at the gate. Which, which <laughs> counting ones? the numbers? Yeah, card counting. Like said. Of course, I'm killing them before they come out. So. Yeah. Before they say which ones are going up. So. 
we that makes we it um, picked up a modern game yesterday. Oh, yep, yeah, downloaded. Downloaded from Steam. Yeah. Yeah, Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds, which I'm excited to play. I know it's gotten decent reviews, and it's, I think it's the same people who did Fallout 4? Fallout 3? Bethesda. Anyway, is it Bethesda? Yeah, I think so. Um, I don't know if anyone has played that game. I uh, I heard it was really good, and it was very discounted, so... <laughs> yeah, like 75% well, off or something? Yeah, it was 70% off. So we've been uh, trying to see if we have computers suitable for it to run on. <laughs> this one. This one's fine. This one's fine. <laughs> this does uh, real-time encoding to the web of yeah. and and OBS and. Oh oh yeah yeah. It's fine. Yeah, you said it ran. Uh, it seems to run on my laptop at, at the, uh, the very low resolution. Uh, it's playable. It's playable. I wouldn't say it's great. Yeah, that's it's fine. It's fine. On the lowest settings. On the low settings. Mine on the highest settings? Works fine. Works. Ah! Works pretty good. Nice. nice Three nice, with nice. one pot. Go, go! Come on. There we go. It should oh, be called nice Dead one. Spots, not Crack Pots. Ha ha ha! Kitties, come here. Psst, psst, psst. Come here. Come back, Pixel. Come say hi. They got their treats. They're done for the night. <laughs> yeah. I see his tail wagon, so they're up to something over there. Uh oh, trouble. Maybe they found a spider. That would be um, very fitting for the game we're playing tonight. Super coincidental. Yeah. It wouldn't be ironic. It would be what? What would it be? Coincidental. Coincidental. Yeah. Oh my God! Stop it! They would love that too. Oh, they love, love spiders. It. Oh, bugs, spiders. Love to torture animals. Lights reflecting Cats. off your watch. You know, anything like that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate the red ones. I hate them. Red and the green. Terrible. Yep. They're very bad. Oh. Icons in the chat. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the cats. Where'd they go? I feel like they're up to trouble. Kitties. Oh, no. the There's too much stuff there. Could you get them out? All the cartridges are open. Not that they do anything to them, but. Now it's getting to the speed where I can't cover the whole board. I have to stick in the middle now. And we're getting really fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm killing them with accidental pot dropping. Oh, God. Oh, nice one. Oh, my God. So lucky. And then I'm lucky. Nice. The good thing about the green spiders when it gets fast is that when you drop a pot, they're almost guaranteed to hit it because they're going so fast in yes. between each one. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I just can't make it over there. It's just impossible. But you just have to accept a certain number of spiders. Mm -hmm. Are not going to. Uh... Oh my god. Four! Four reds with one pot. Two! You should be getting double bonus on that. Huge bonuses. Where's my bonuses? Oh my god. Yeah, use the ground. Look at that! It does help you. Oh my god. Get ahead of the spiders. Oh my god. There we go. Play the ground game. It works. It, it actually does work, works. Yeah. Nostalgic says, "I'm afraid the after dark has caught up with me. I'll be heading off. Good luck with your patch quest. Good night and thanks for the stream. Thank you oh, for joining us, Nostalgic. Thank you. Lovely. Seven in one blow says Captain Cap. Seven in one. Wow. No, no, no. That's that's a uh, Mickey Mouse thing. The kids will permeate. 
That's a Disney thing. Jack and the Beanstalk. Right? Mickey, Mickey Mouse and the Beanstalk? What is? That's a reference to a, a Disney movie. Seven in one blow. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Not this. Seven I was like, did you get seven in one blow? What, did seven, I miss that? Seven on the screen in one. Fair enough, fair enough. a version of it, but it is an old fairy tale. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Jack and the Giants. Stuff. But do they have that line in the original In the books? Book? Where he's bragging about his prowess of... Uh, maybe. Yes. And was it seven? Probably. They, they literally rip off things. The Giant Jack the Giant Killer? Isn't yeah, that what Jack... it's called? The original fairy tale is Jack the Giant Killer. Was it? Yeah, I think so. Yes, it is. In the original. Mm. Ah, neat. Something yeah, the like skunk that. is on a rampage. I was listening to a podcast that was talking all about fairy tales today. Oh. And the differences in... Um, the reds. The reds. I think they slow down. They definitely slow down. I don't think they are at the full number when you do it again. Oh, God. Terrible. Oh, geez. This patch is happening today! The, uh, oh, Jack the Giant Killer is another fairy tale system. <laughs> Captain Classic. Oh, Jack and the Beanstalk is different than... I thought Jack the Giant Killer, one came from the other, but I, I, it's been a long time since I've read fa fairy tales, so... I also, uh... Four. You might notice we have no children, so we're not reading uh, fairy tales to anyone right now. Cats don't care about them. The cats don't like the fairy tales. They struggle. They <laughs> run away. Oh my god. So lucky. <laughs> what? The music thumping did slow down, but I don't know if the spiders slowed down at all. Oh, the spiders moving so fast. Oh, did I make it? 53. I'm oh, black. No. I'm black. Well, you... I'm still black to go. That is the end, I believe. You might have one more. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I do. Oh my god. I don't know how they expect you to do anything at this level. At this level. <laughs> yeah, you're just getting a little bit of bonus towards but like before you die. Points. 56 is getting there. It's hard. Is Best it, score so far. 70 you have to get 75. 75. 75. Oh. 56 for 40. Okay. If somebody is still there that can type it in, please. I wouldn't say the patch is happening today, but I wouldn't say it's not happening today. Because I have made some mistakes that I shouldn't have made. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Type it in. Oh, good night, Captain. I need to type it in. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Charles Leon. Now it can reset. Oh, do you want me to reset again? Hey, hey, wake up. You didn't say. Luckily, you can just reset. <laughs> yes. Hooray! Resetting. Oh, it's hot. Yes, it is. Yep, we're all shiny and red. Temperature. 28. 28 still. Sorry. 
Still 28. Still 28. It's not getting cooler, I'll tell you that much. Nope. So somebody typed it out. Ha! Who invited you? Said the little tailor. <laughs> and drove the unbidden guests away. <laughs> the flies, however, who understood no German, would not be turned away, but came back again in ever-increasing companies. The little tailor at la last... At last... Oh. The little tailor at last lost all patience and drew a piece of cloth from the hole under his work table, saying, Wait, and I will give it to you struck it mercilessly on them. When he drew it away and counted, there lay before him no fewer than seven dead and with legs stretched out. <laughs> the phrasing in old... That's like between modern English and like Shakespearean. Well, sort it's of. It's got the it's... order a little, a little bit weird and the phrasing is a little, little odd to what we would say now. Well, it's like Brothers Grimm and it's from a very old English... Yeah, it's I, um, originally in German, too. So. In German, yeah, and translated, I'm sure. But that would be the old English translation, probably. Not a modern... Because they would just update it And these modern stories language. likely li lived and existed long before they were published. We know them because oh, they were yeah. published at certain periods in time, too. That's right. Which is interesting. So they'd be passed down through... Yeah, probably through some oral tellings. traditions as well. Um, which is, you know... And they, they're altered for to reflect some of the kind of moral That's right. beliefs and codes of the time. Ah, that's right. I'm just always one behind them. It's yeah. awful. Those red ones. No, it's not the red ones. The green ones are by far the worst. Because yeah, the red you can somewhat anticipate. I do better. The green on the ones. Greens. Oh, the green ones are terrible. Just got three in a row. <laughs> One pot. Yeah, but I find they're so. Oh, God. They're deceptive. They're very deceptive. I like the black ones. You can smush them good. <laughs> smush those black oh. ones good. Unless you hit it and don't hit the flower pot. That's which a problem. Which doesn't help you at all. The graphics are so good. The flower pot's good. The little spider animation is so good. The wall with the bricks. The, the, the way that he thought up the game to be so it's... Everything's run vertically but not in a way that you would think because your character never overlaps with the flowers never overlaps with the spiders um and the windows where the spiders do overlap are not even drawn with uh characters it's all drawn with play fields useless if you don't hit the actual flower pot the only time I don't even think that two spiders are in the same horizontal plane ever. Oh, the flowers are on the same horizontal plane as the spiders, that's why. Yeah. Captain Classic says, I actually like the German version better than the Disney version. Well, they, they're usually better, to be yeah. honest. It is a bit more like the Gruffalo where a tiny mouse scares the giant Gruffalo. In the original German, the, tra the tailor tricks the giant, and the king who is continually trying to not reward the tailor for his deeds. Oh. Um, th what they were talking about, they were talking about how abysmal the Little Mermaid is. Oh, yeah. um, in Disney, it was... Um, the guy who, Malcolm Gladwell's podcast. But they were talking about how there's two kinds of fairy tales, ones that involve poetic justice, where good people get the good outcome, right. and some which they call fairy tale twists, which really, sometimes bad people get good things. Right. And they were kind of equating to how um, uh, 
kids actually don't like the poetic justice ones, it creates a lot of anxiety in children because they feel like, well, if I've done bad things because they're children, <laughs> then bad things bad are coming children. for me. And it actually creates a lot of kind of psychological issues in children when, when it's so, it's so blatant and like, um, no. like Cinderella is one of those stories where she's, it's all about purity oh. and, and her being pure she's and good, good. and like, yeah, she's too good and sacrifices a lot of things. And then of course gets the prince and the, the, in the original story, her evil stepsisters get blinded by pigeons in the end, <laughs> yes. uh, which is really, really harsh. Um, which obviously in the Disney versions, everything's so which story? down. Cinderella. Uh, oh, Cinderella. Well. Yeah. Also, Which is all about purity. Also, the steps. So it's quite interesting. Like completely damage their feet to try and fit into this glass slipper. It's all about. Yeah. And they're like cutting off their toes. And... Oh, there's a lot of bad things like that too. <laughs> but um, I just found it. Yeah, it's it's true. And uh, a lot of really like original old fairy tales. It wasn't like the good person gets the good result. There's lots of instances where. Where, but it's not a terrible thing like the to say Grimm, the bad person gets punished. Because you'd hope that they would in the end. Yeah, but what's more that, realistic please. is a story that represents the actual chaos of life, which is that these things don't always... Yeah. You so don't always have reset. the outcome you're you're expecting, you know? Yeah, like there should be ups and downs. Not yeah. perfect all the time. And no, always... but it, it, it's, it's, it's more related to these ideas of trying to teach children that if you're good, good things will happen. That's not what happens in real life. No, no. So it's, it's, yeah, it was just interesting. I just found it interesting. The discussion was really interesting. This is a very deep ZHP and not Disney friendly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, but a lot of the old fairy tales are really, some of them are very harsh. Oh, the most of them are Some terrifying. of them, some of them, terrible. some of them are quite chaotic. You know, the original Little Mermaid, not a happy ending. You know, like, uh, it's, it's, uh, a lot of those stories aren't straightforward. Drop some pot, like next time, just drop some pots on the way. If you have extra time, right? Because there's no penalty. You actually catch one that you don't have to deal with later. Especially on reds or greens. not over top of it. Three. No. No. Terrible. I just want black spiders. <laughs> They're so easy to take care of. black and blue levels. Mm. Too many in. 
And I notice you're going for spiders you can never catch sometimes. And I am. And then missing like three because you're trying to get one. Sometimes I think I can get there and I can't, and that's part of the problem. But my bigger issue is not with the ones I can't and can't get. It's the stupid red and green ones where I'm not anticipating their movement well enough. Mm. That's my bigger problem. I haven't quite figured out the green ones especially. You can't get them on the left side. You can only get them on one of the um, one of the angles. Yeah. Like the red ones, they go in one direction, so you yeah. know what where they're going. Yeah. The green ones kind of go back and forth. Red's about which is kind of yeah. Well, green's about timing mm -hmm. too. Have you guys been watching much of the Olympics? Not enough, no. actually. Because we don't really watch uh, live. Television, yeah, we were so. watching a little bit of the swimming. The Canadian women have been doing extremely well yeah. in a lot of a lot of different um, events. Yeah. But uh, no, not a lot. And I usually like watching gymnastics, and I haven't watched much of that. Um, Might be the time zone too. Maybe, but I think this weekend. I think they're on early in the morning. We actually have a long weekend this weekend, so I might get a bit more time to watch a little bit more Olympics. Yeah, Although I did just download a video game. <laughs> That's um, a problem. That is a problem. I'll have to have just at least the the video going in the background. Yeah, I could have it on the background. Yeah. Because I mean, but most no, I of the Olympics is like nothing happening. And I only like tangentially know about this, but I think there's four Canadian women who just got silver, oh. and it's like a really sweet story. They've been swimming oh. together for since they were like ten or eleven. God, which is oh my god, kind of cool. Stop so, it. That's, uh, did he get it? <sighs> just Atari Twenty Six Hundred, dude. Have you been watching much of the Olympics? Mm. And has anything? Is there anything we should uh, we should be reviewing? Uh, well, there's going to the be everybody's, yeah. unless they're Canadian, they're going to be from well, no, I mean, a different country's it's perspective. It's not necessarily the country you're from. Sometimes there's just really good, tight events, too. Like uh, Unless it's outstanding, most countries um, concentrate on their own country No, but the co competition, like a good basketball game or a good... Yeah. Yeah, sometimes oh. there's... Oh, oh, no, oh, no. My first oh, loss. No. That was good, 35,000. Excellent. I think I'm improving. <laughs> oh, not with reds. Oh my god, not at this level. Oh no! Oh no! Go little spiders. So funny how they speed up. Right at the end. It's like, uh, missed too many of us. Yes. No! No! Australia. We are currently fifth on the medal tally. That's awesome. Wow. Great job. What events has Australia been doing really well in? To be honest, this is much more entertaining than the Olympics, says Charles Reese. <laughs> well, I am trying to get a patch. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. James is going for gold here. Yeah. Um, ah! <laughs> Not doing well. Not yeah, what are what are Australia's um, events that they they've been are they good they've got good swimmers too, I think actually. Snake fleeing, alligator wrestling. <laughs> We have been watching Survivor Australia, <laughs> yeah. uh, which has actually been quite entertaining because we know someone who's in it. Yeah, she was in she my was film. She was in, the, in D James's film, and she's she's in Survivor Australia right now. So we thought we'd watch it. I haven't watched Survivor in so long that yeah, actually we're kind of decade. kind of enjoying it. I haven't I haven't watched it since it came popular in like the early two thousands. So it's kind of interesting to to revisit it. seems very, very, very hot where they are. That's oh, all I have to well, say. It was like 45. They're like, and it's 43 degrees. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> but it looks very dry there. Very, yeah. So it's probably... They just okay. hang out in water all day long. They do. <laughs> uh... Oh my god. <gasps> Did I make it? Damn it, last one. 
We do well in swimming. Yeah, swimming. Canada generally does well in swimming and rowing. Generally, our, our women's teams. Baseball. Teams, for, yes. Our women's teams do extremely well. They're, I think, um, um, the men, meh. Yeah. So far, it's been all women, women's medals, usually, actually. It's usually how it works in Canada. I think, I think we, we invest a lot in women's sports, which is really good, so, um, I was working for a while. <laughs> Left and right. Ah. You should have played decathlon. Seems appropriate. Oh, <laughs> yeah. True, we should have. Didn't think of that. Damn it. Didn't think of that. Good call. I don't know how hard that is to do. Or how torturous it is. Oh. What was that? Oh, Camille Freya, follow. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying the show. Yes. You're a new person? New person. Right? That's awesome. Not a name I've seen before. Thank you. Oh my you. god, I'm good dying this one. We enjoy, uh, we enjoy company while we play. I think that's it. Um, that's it? <laughs> so. Yep, 55030. Oh, did you get 56, 57 last time? I got a little time? bit higher than that. A little that. bit higher. Oh. Natty 03. I'll do one more after this. One more? Okay. I'm not going to get 53. But maybe, you know what? If I hit 20, I'd be very happy. I wonder if I it. can... Uh... Just have to be more oh. precise on your pot yeah. placement. And don't go after things you can't get to. I hate having hips, by the way. Trying oh. to balance things on hips is always... Sorry problem. about that. I know. It's my fault. It's a hip thing. <laughs> I don't know how to... <laughs> I mean, like I said, if I was at a desk, it might be easier, but... You can bring your desk down. No. That's what we got it for, yeah, partly. You mean the, the TV tray? Yeah. TV tray. Little desk. Portable desk. Also good for working from home. Much. Green? Yes. They're you just... like the red better than green? No! No, yeah, I can figure out the red better than the green. The green come back on you. Ah, and I, I, I mistime it completely. <laughs> there's, there's pretty much two opportunities to get the green. Halfway up <sighs> and at the top. And it's always on the right hand side if they're swerving. Mm -hmm. Never on the left. Yeah, see, brutal. I'm just brutal with the green ones. That was hard because there was one right after the other. I, ugh, I hate them so much. See, look, this is not even one round. I'm going to have to rage reset. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> rage reset, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> I actually want it. Okay, there you go. All Hi. Right. How are you? Just very I'm unhappy with the green spiders right now. Pixel, I need your help. Oh! Mm. <laughs> She needs you to go smack, smack on the spiders. Yes, smack the spiders, Pixel, please. You can run along the floor there. The way they crawl out of the, the sewer is so awesome. Oh, yeah, and, and across? Along. It's just so nice for a 2600 game. See, that's... I shouldn't have missed that. I wasn't no, above it. Have. Rage reset, uh, Charles. We uh, yes. I should get around to beating penult. I have no idea clue how penult works on a system with 16 bytes of memory. It's a game that, well, the system has 128 bytes of memory. Um, and it is a has a very special cartridge configuration where there's more up than 128 bytes of memory. And it's also 128k game, so it has a huge amount of room for all the information. So it's not like 
a basic original game like this. And I think this might be a 4K game? Amazing for a 4K game. So good. If it is. Might be an 8K. Let me see. Look this up. Uh, crack points. Oh my god, that was a terrible it's round. It's actually a 4K game. Um, but Penalt is also a masterpiece of programming. Oh Carl my god. G is doing a bang up job on it. That was just terrible. I had one round where I was hitting them really well, and I'm just totally off. Nutty says, you know, for an unemployed uh, teenager, my retro collection is massive. <laughs> <laughs> good on you. You found good deals then. <laughs> it's uh, so, some uh, retro collecting is getting very expensive. Oh, it's crazy expensive. Depending on the era. Like, 2600 it's fine. It's pretty cheap. Uh, the... The NES is on the downslope, so if you're catching it now, just keep waiting if you want to get it for cheaper. Oh, yeah. It is on the downslope, isn't it? Yeah. Oh! Um, anything, anything like uh, third gen, maybe even fourth gen. Yeah, third and fourth gen. Anything fourth gen or earlier is getting cheaper. Anything I think fifth generation and up is started is is getting more and more expensive and probably get more expensive um, because it's a sliding scale of nostalgia. <laughs> That's what it is. It's this bar of nostalgia that moves along, that moves the uh, bell curve along the price bell curve. Well, to you, it's this way, and it's about when. People's nostalgia is about when they start making 20, money. Fifteen to twenty years past when the era that they first played their video games in. It's when they start making enough money that they're comfortable, that they have a lot of disposable income. Mm. It's about fifteen to twenty years, and then they have a, about ten years to fifteen years of buying power. And then they, they buy everything they ever wanted. Then they discover multi-carts and then sell it all off and stick with the multi-carts of their, of their games. There you go. Uh, Nutty says, I love in Penel till I can be the other gender. Yeah, it's great to have options in games. I think so too. Male, female, other. Yep. Be whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty fluid, so thank you ever made it. Yeah, Carl, Carl G. I like that. Is it Carl G? Am I messing that up? Carl G? I'm pretty sure it's Carl G. Figure the max price for anything is when people who were 14 to 18, when the console came out, are 30 to 45 years old now, and yeah. you pay a premium price. Yep, that's exactly right. And then it starts going down. Yeah, and then people go, oh, I need my money for other things. <laughs> that That's exactly right. Or they run out of space. <laughs> yeah, that too. Or they're downsizing. Earthbound is still hella pricey. Yeah, there's certain games that will not go down. Like they hit their max and then just slowly creep up and up and up. And those are the ones that are super popular and worked super popular back then. So there's limited numbers. 13? I'm done. Yeah. Eh, no, good. no, I don't no. think I think I did better. I think I did better on my first round, to be honest. I think I made it to 15. Reset, mm. please. Reset, please. Reset, oh. <laughs> please. Reset, please. Oh. Reset, please. Oh, Reset, okay. please. I need like a... Like a this will be my ice last, tub yeah. for my beer. <laughs> mini fridge? A mini no, it's just... It's so warm because this room is so warm now. My or, or one of those frozen mugs uh, that were really popular in like the 90s or whatever. You put them in the freezer. I've got a and USB then... mug that keeps things cold. That wouldn't be so bad either. In my first radio show, we had a uh, mini fridge in the studio. Oh, yeah. You would put uh, Dr. Pepper in it, right? Yes. Yeah. That was our drink of choice. Yeah. 
Good old Dr. Pepper. There's... All the caffeine and all the sugar. Yep. I always feel like Dr. Pepper young, is basically so. cherry coke. It pretty much is. Yeah. It's slightly different, but for the uh, casual drinker of it, you wouldn't notice the difference. Uh, well, I know it is a little different. It's yeah. like the Pepsi and Coke difference. It, it is a little different, but it is very cherry. It, it's yes. very cherry forward, shall we say, for, yes. for a cola type drink. Um, <gasps> no, 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 no. Early points given up. They're low points, so it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, oh. See, if they're halfway up the screen, mm. they're under the right pot, and you should drop it on them. For the, um, just learning that, actually. Mm. <laughs> That's very helpful. Red bugs, eh, I'm getting better, but still not perfect at the red bugs. Recognize the horrors. horrors of Activision. All the smush bugs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Horror bugs. Lots of death. A lot of animal death. Ah! Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I'm dropping. But if you miss halfway up, mm. you're, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Your, your timing ends up so off. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, oh no. my god. I know the green ones. It's all the green ones. They're horrible. <laughs> I almost want to rage reset. I should. Because that was not smart. See? Mm. But you have to get them at the right time. Yes, you do. So that was kind of practicing. I was getting a handle on it, so... Sure drop a lot of pots after the last yeah. bug has been destroyed. You can just, just. Wonder if you can just keep dropping pots if you keep timing them right. <laughs> because it wants to wait, but I'm like yes. throwing down a pot and it's like, oh, okay, I'll do it after this pot. Oh, you threw another one. Oh, you threw another one. I wonder. I wonder, wonder how how long you can go for doing that. Okay, yeah, the red ones I'm getting. Getting a handle on. The green ones, they require a very specific yeah. timing to smush them, so. They do. Yep, 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 yep. Oh god. <laughs> I'm playing around too much with dropping pots. I should be actually dropping on the bugs, not on the, on the pavement. Ah! Ah! Falling behind. Red bugs are trouble because you don't know which side, which way they're going to go. Yeah, at this point, the green ones are too fast for me to catch them on the mm -hmm. on the halfway up. Mm -hmm. See, don't go for that one on the way on the left because you because I was too far away. I'm just gonna. Probably not get that one, and then not get the one that's right beside you. Oh. It's frustrating when you're not, when you can't get positioned over a pot, and you just ride multiple times, and then by that time you're wasted so much time. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. No. Oh, so fast. Yeah. They're so creepy when they move that fast. <laughs> they are. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you really, you really have to stick to like the middle ones. I find. Yeah. And, this, and these fast levels. Yeah. They're super hard. Unless you're right beside it. Mm-hmm. Cardboard box. Hey, cardboard box. Oh my god. This looks tricky. Uh, it is very it's super tricky. Very tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Mm -hmm. Come on. You almost have to anticipate the green ones at this point. Because yeah. the pots drop so slowly. Uh, it's almost dangerous to go to the right. Because then it sends three out mm -hmm. on the leftmost one. And you're like, oh my god. See? That. That. Terrible. It sent me all the way to the right and then it's like, oh. Are you over there? Okay. Well, have some death. Oh, that was lucky. The red ones suck. The red ones suck. The green ones are worse. The green ones are crazy. Crazy green ones. <gasps> I'm getting them. Oh, they're getting in the windows. Don't yep. Get in the windows. I have to anticipate them. I have to anticipate you them. You do. Now. I have to look how far yeah. ahead you have to drop them. Yeah. Okay, I know the strategy now on green ones. Just drop them on the thing they're going for. Yeah. Don't even wait. If you do it as quickly as possible, you're okay. Don't get too far over. Mm, yeah. <gasps> See the red ones? Oh. Oh, I'm still alive. Not anymore. <laughs> oh. oh. It just gets crazy around 50,000. Just barely made it. Oh, yeah. Horrible. Yep. Horrible you just drop them. Yep, you just drop them when they're where they're coming. Yeah. By the time the pot gets there. Once you know where they're coming. Yeah. Barely. Oh, what was that? Crap. What was that crap? It sent like four up the left. I know, that's really mean. Really, really mean. Look at that. Where that's on purpose. Of course it is. Dan. <laughs> Cursing Dan. Don't, get, don't go so far over because you're screwed. Oh, it's just like stay alive. Stay alive. That's your mission at this point. No. 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 Yep, it's my last round <laughs> on a red. Good luck. I start dropping them. Random dropping. No. Hit my peak. Whatever mm. it was, 56. Mm. Oh my goodness. Kitten. Can you do better, kitten? Hmm? Fix all? Oh, Brit Talk, I used to play this on my grandmother's ColecoVision. Really? Oh, so you had the adapter, the 2600 oh, adapter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this never came out for ColecoVision. Oh, really? Yeah. Lucky, lucky. So you've got Atari games and Coleco Coleco's, games. Coleco's, yeah. This is Pixel. Pixel says hello. I don't think this came out for Coleco. Some Activision games did. Oh, oh, I'm getting chewed. Yeah. Oh, oh he's like, please don't pick me up. Yeah, oh. I didn't make it. Once again... Oh, sadness. Not surprising. This is a hard, hard, yeah. 
hard So patch. just to reiterate, the patch is 75,000. Yeah. And I and got 56 56-ish, 57. Yeah, I don't know what I got. Whoa. Oh, oh there the wasn't review. a converter. Maybe maybe the Coleco did have a version of it then. Uh Yeah. I don't think so. I may be mistaken. Let's see. It is a cool game. What did it come out for? Nope. It's 2600. Oh, I have no idea how people get 100,000K on this one. Wow. Try 500,000. <laughs> Unless that person's lying. This yeah. person got like all of them above 100,000 on all the challenges. <sighs> Some people just know the pattern. I, I can see that with repeated play, just memorizing the pattern and, and figuring out where exactly to hit. But I holy crap, how hard is that? That game is so see a hard. Video. You gonna put there's a video a, on? There's a hundred thousand one. Oh I like that. That'll give like me that. a good sense of how you play at a hundred thousand. Oh we've had the Z page Z PH flashing this whole time. Yeah, they have it's very that. annoying. I don't even notice it when I'm playing though. Yeah. Um So let's see. What oh. uh a hundred thousand game looks like Oyama family yeah they're very good oh they're very so good. so this is the speed at the patch just right around the patch score ah. looks very different in color <laughs> In color? Yeah, it, no, the color is, it looks oh. very different than what we were playing. Well, but. they're using an emulator, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're sticking family. to the middle. Uh, oh, let me turn you on the audio so you guys can hear it. There you go. They're definitely not pal? going to the edges. Maybe. No. Well, it could be pal. It doesn't say pal, but it still could be. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, they're very good. To be very clear, again, we are not playing. We're not playing this. No. <laughs> We're watching someone do a really, really good job. Look at that. It's just... and No, they never go to the edges. Never, ever, ever. But they manage to... So make it with, like, one left. Oh, they drop the far <clears throat> left. Ooh, right, right at away. the start, right away. On the black one, at least. I don't know if they do that. Oh, do they do it every time? Yep. Yep. Just in case. That's a good strategy. That is a good strategy. Okay. We're learning a few things here. I'll promptly forget it next time we play it. And they never six go months. for the far right unless they're right there. Yeah. Or it's the last one, I guess. Well, they didn't go to the first one that time. Uh, Maybe it's just black. They stay. They stay in the middle. Couple with the red because they're. You can tell where the red ones are going, though. They just go always in one way or the other way. The green ones are a pain in the butt. Oh, you know what? That you is true. Look at where they start, the green one. Because the matters. red ones can only start on the very left or the very right. Yeah. Because they have to traverse the whole to, screen. They have to traverse at least two lanes, I think. Is it two? two it's more three. than two. It's three lanes. Well, they mm -hmm. always head over to the left most and they drop right away. Mm-hmm. Red are always two windows. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, watch it again. I'm, they'll play another red one, I'm sure. Okay, here's a red. <gasps> yeah. Two from where they start. So you actually almost want to watch from the bottom. Oh, where they yeah. move, they always move oh, two. How do you do that? You have to know it well. And where the green starts is where oh. they end. The green start where they end. Nice. That's how you do it. You watch the bottom. Yeah. It's not easy. I mean, there's... Look at this. Yeah, it's the oh, bottom tells you, you where they are. You don't watch the top at all. Well, you have to for well, positioning for the timing, yourself. And you probably get used to that. Yeah. Yeah. So he's at 100. He's almost done. Let's see what he's uh, at 130, what it's like. What? I think he's maxed out the speed, but we'll see. Maybe the speed doesn't change. So once you're used to that, when it gets low like this, though, it's really yeah, bloody hard. Yeah, the speed doesn't seem much faster here. Actually, <laughs> let's yeah, go before he low. dies, actually, because... 
Hmm. Green are the same window, but it is tiny. It can only be hit as they move back under the window. Yep. It's not easy being green. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it is still timing with green, but at this high level, the pot will just take them out no matter what almost. Kind of, because they, the they bounce so back slow. so quickly. They yeah. traverse the whole thing by the time you're, the pot re leaves your hand. Okay, okay, okay. That gives me a lot of hints. You gonna try another round? No. No, you I'm... should. You should. Uh, See if you can put some of this into play. Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, one more. I think you should try one more. See if that helps you. One more round. They're, they're fast rounds. They don't take too long. Okay. Reach reset time. Well, just reset. Concentrating on watching the bottom the and bottom. just timing. Yeah. It is hard because I do have to look up for like a second because I yeah. kind of position myself. Early um, levels are really good for practice. Practicing that tactic, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're the right guys. Always two over. Is where they end up. Yeah. But not where you can hit them, so that no. doesn't really help. You still have to be careful. You still have to kind of. I hate the red ones. Good job. Oops. Tactic doesn't quite work with the green ones yet. No, you're doing pretty decently. Where they start is where they end, but as it gets closer, then yeah. I didn't throw them right away. Again, beginning. does let you keep throwing them down. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's only when you uh, fail that it stops your ability to complete the level. Hit the red. Hit them. Mm-hmm. is really important with the green ones. The squishing noise is something else too. Wee, 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 wee. No! 
We can do it. We can believe in you. We believe in you. I don't believe in you. That's the problem. Come here. Come here. Be a cute kitty. Come on, Swain. Where's your brother? What's he doing? Is he doing bad things? He's doing bad things. Oh, he's always chewing something. Oh, my God. Be a cute kitty. Settle. 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 No, no, no. Settle, please. It doesn't matter if you're here or on the floor. It doesn't matter. He does not like. He's like, I'm a cat. I have agency. Get away from me. <laughs> yes, that one took out two in a, by just dropping it when, when the it, level when the started. Level started, yeah. In the two blues, but something. He says, you know what would be great? Pixelated comic books to stream from the plus cart. <laughs> that yeah. actually would be kind of a cute idea. Or even a game that was that was almost more like a, a story. Storyboards. Uh, one guy makes those type of games. Really? Yeah. They're crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The but choose your own adventure. Uh, yeah. Left, right, up, down. Yeah. I like that. He, that's he's made neat. a number of them. A choose your own adventure game. Like comic book. That would be very cool. They don't work well with digital setups, though. No? No. Mm. They don't look very good on the system. Oh my god, I'm missing all the spiders. I'm missing all the spiders. <gasps> Say it again, it's better than the Olympics. <laughs> Thank you, Charles Reese. <laughs> yes. I have a feeling no golds today. Maybe a bronze. Oh, God. No! Maybe using joysticks, I shouldn't be. <laughs> These are not, like, easily obtained. Do well, they are abuse. right now, but Do eventually they will Do not abuse the hardware, be. please. You will be removed from the, this facility if you abuse Sweet. the hardware. Pixel will escort you out of the building. <laughs> yep. He will. He'll bite you. It's a little too early for those green ones to just drop it. Damn it, <laughs> wrong position. says, usually when Atari games have a recognizable main character, it's usually a boring old human with not much that makes them stand out. <laughs> that's why Ricky and Vicky was great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. I mean, that's 7800, so you have a bit more pixels to work with. Yeah. A bit more colors. But they do have a lot of verse now because of the story at the beginning, too. Oh, it just made that. Oh, oh, green sucks. Agreed, Charles. Agreed. That's another game we need to uh, play on After Dark, actually. Ricky and Vicky? Yeah. Yeah, it's such a good game. Such a good game. We did. We got to a certain point and then couldn't beat a boss? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Uh, yeah, I think yes. that was where we got stuck. I was, like, getting really frustrated with the boss. Yes, but we, were... it was within our reach, for sure. We, we kind of figured out how to do it. We have better joysticks now, too. Yes, we do. <laughs> Won't complain about the joysticks the whole time, I promise. No, we haven't been complaining about them. Oh, I, I complain every episode. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> not this time. No, not so bad. But I was saying, sometimes, uh, yeah, maybe I need to bring my TV tray up. It does make it a little more solid and straight. And it's not Stop tipping it. all over my lap when I play. Oh, no! no! <gasps> Nutty. 
imagine an alternate timeline when Nolan Bushnell never sold Atari so that their yeah. fall from grace never happens. Oh, that'd be beautiful. I'd love that timeline. I think everyone who watches this show would equally love that timeline. It, it wasn't... It was... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's yeah, a big part true. of it, but... It is uh, a big part of it. Um, oh. Another part of it is people making boatloads of garbage for the yeah, 2600. Yeah, there being no... um. So, no barrier no, no barrier for entry really no but if people weren't able to make third party we wouldn't get this game and a bunch of amazing activision well, games and the rest of the industry yeah uh so i don't know you, you everything's an evolution and take. right and and it is give and take yeah so that helped me and also did not help me yeah because i was learning how to replay it in a different way yeah but i really want to play this again sometime i think we've maxed oh, yeah. out our energy for tonight by the yeah it did win by a lot for voting 40 percent four to ten people wanted to yeah. us to play this one it was great yeah yeah and we'll play a different one next time mm -hmm. you watch the pots as they explode they yeah. crumble there's they so many crumble. frames of animation yeah. look at it it is great wow. it is great they kind of explode all in 4k mm. is it really A activision games are are pretty amazing yeah. are so amazing well dan dan's amazing because mm -hmm. <laughs> he made this game um what they're able to achieve and it's definitely things to aspire to mm -hmm. when for homebrewers mm -hmm. that's for sure okay whoo it's hot it time is to, let's see what the temperature is time to relax Oh, it's down to 28. It lost half a degree. I don't think we made it to 28.5. No, we? we did. Yeah, yeah, we did. Now some Majuro. No. <laughs> what time is it over there? Enter. It is 10 to 10 p.m. Where? Here. Oh, here. Yeah. Yeah, 10 to 10. That's enough. Four Atari hours. 2600, dude, what time is it in Australia? Yeah. Or where you are in Australia, because obviously there are multiple time zones, but... Uh, yeah, most people live on the East Coast, though. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like six hours back five hours back i think no more than backwards that. or forwards it's backwards plus a day plus a day is that beer still cold it is as lukewarm as a <laughs> beer can be which is so sad so thanks everybody <sighs> so for tuning in to after dark yeah. and watch me do better it was crack fun pots. crack pots is such a fun game it's a really fun game to play 251 on saturday oh, so it's a the afternoon on saturday three se seven hours before us. yeah melbourne so cool a couple hours off. very cool see yeah. east coast um oh, i can't wait to go to australia yep yeah, we'll get there we'll, we'll get, get there, there one someday. day not next year because we already have our trips planned yeah we already have maybe some. the year after yes was that the one we decided on australia ish I think that's high on my list. Or Europe. I'd like to see Australia, and I'd like to go to New Zealand. And if well, we're going to one, we're going to go to the other. Even so. though they're very far apart? No, but it, it yeah, take a big chunk it's like, and just oh, see a bunch of stuff. Oh, we're going to Vancouver. We might as well go to Florida. Yeah, well, like, no, well, that is true. That is true. <laughs> it's like one side of Australia and the other. It's, At least it's, you could drive really from Vancouver to Florida. You yeah. can't drive there. Yeah. No. Oh, thanks for tuning in, Camille Freya. Freya? Freya? Freya. Freya. Uh, also, Atari 2600, yes. dude, Nutty03, Charles Whelan, Captain Classic, Charles Reese, uh, Britock, that's yeah. a new name. Nice. RC78, yeah, first time chatter. Yeah. Uh, a, a cardboard, cardboard box. box. Keep making those games. Yes. Uh, who else? Cafe Man 2D. Charles Reese, Nostalgic 26. We had a lot of people chatting with us over our uh, After Dark, which is After always Dark. really nice. Yeah. Well, so that's the yeah. end of my scroll. Yay. Yay. Metal Lunar's still here. New Zealand looks nice. Sister went there be way before New Zealand Tourist Board released the logo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the time to go. Yeah. Good show tonight, O'Brien. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Crossbow. He's here, too lurking <laughs> yeah uh, all the lurkers thank you for coming it's a lot of fun games yeah yeah so uh we'll be back on tuesday mm. with eight bit games most likely unless something goes wrong and i pull mm. it out and it doesn't power on uh, but uh that's the plan we're going to be playing the last squadron which just got released on cartridge for the atari 8-bit uh it's an overhead plane shooter vertical mm. shooter 
mm. which I love. Yes, love, you love, do love, love vertical love. shooters. And we played this before mm. um, because it was uh, nominated for the Atari Awards. Okay. Yep. Atari yep. Homebrew Awards. Yep. And it was very, very good. Yep. And I'll pick another newish or new 8 bit game as well to play. So I'll play some. Uh, at least two, maybe three. Mm. Yeah, 1943 is awesome. Oh, it is a great yeah, game. That's yeah. a really fun game. Yeah, that is a fun game. Um, so, thanks for tuning in. We're going to play some more video games. <laughs> Off screen. Off screen. <laughs> brand, brand new ones for brand the PC uh, that we won't be streaming. No. And maybe someday, but maybe not right someday. now. Maybe yeah. someday. We don't have anything set up for that. No, not for modern games. And, uh, yeah, we will see you on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, is Dan Kitchen documentary talking about four decades in development film Dan Kitchen documentary? Yes, and it's available YouTube for free. Oh, and, nice! Uh, nice. That's an interesting little film. You learn a bit about Dan if you don't know anything about him. Yeah. And his history. And they interview uh, some Dan's friends, and mm. they talk about you know hanging out with Dan and back in the day stuff. Yeah. It's always interesting. Yeah. That's the question I was going to ask. I'll save that. Okay. Um, for next time. Uh, but you guys can think about it. Your favorite uh, a video game documentaries. Or not even documentary. Your favorite video, video game, game movies. Even. Or computer movies. Yeah. Or I think, TV shows. I think even fictional films that, that showcase video games. Yeah, yeah that's All true. of it. Just yeah. all of it. Anything I mean, to do with video games. Because there's a lot of them. Yeah. Like Tron, you can even say or, Tron. Or what's that one? That... But they have to be ones we haven't seen. So I want to... F we haven't The seen... Wizard. No. No. I, I love The seen Wizard. That, but I have... I, I love The Wizard. You watch The Wizard. I was... That was, that was my... The big that Nintendo was my age. ad? Yeah. Um, I, I was going to oh, say we'll that one off. with uh, Ferris Bueller in it. Um, uh, what's his face? Uh, oh, War Games. War Games. Is yeah. stellar. Brilliant hackers. <laughs> I've never seen Hackers. Hackers is hilarious. But we'll write them all down. Hilarious. And we'll make a list and we'll watch them and review them for oh, you guys. Yeah, that would be great. I haven't seen Hackers. Oh, uh, you should see Hackers. Sneakers Your is brain will explode. really good. Sneakers, yeah, I remember sneakers. Because that's, sneakers. Nice. that's an accurate movie. Yeah. Same with War Games I without mean, the AI. What um, other, what other, are there more modern movies that you would fit into that? What was that, what was that animation of, um... There was an animated film that was about uh, oh, hacking. No, Computers? that that got into arcade games. God, um, I not can the picture, new ones. I can picture. No, it's a newer one. Those terrible ones no, that have it wasn't all the video terrible. game mascots in it. Was it terrible? No, it wasn't terrible. What was it? Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph. No, but that's kind of a more modern game. It with, is, with, but it's silly. It, with video games. Just I'm just saying there's not all of them are from the 90s. Not Pixels. Not Pixels. I haven't seen oh, that. Oh, I've heard that's horrible. Yeah, um, that is... Wreck-It Ralph wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible, but it and was just like, hey, look at all these things. Don't you remember them? There was the one them? based on the book that I liked in the movie. Ready was Player meh. One. Ready Player One. I liked the book. The movie was fine. Movie was um, like, hey, remember this? So like, I don't want to yeah. watch movies that say, hey, remember this. Hey, remember this. Hey, remember this. Yeah. <laughs> Every that's five true. seconds. Yeah. I like I like the book more than the movie. I think. Well, that's a but, given um, for anything. Not necessarily. It's just if is Sometimes the movie good? Sometimes adaptions are really good, so it just rarely, depends. Yeah. Rarely, yeah, rarely. The book was awesome. Movie was a big disappointment. Yeah. I didn't. I just. I. I will I, not it was be seeing the sequel. Fine. It was fine. It it, it wasn't the worst thing I've seen on TV. Fine. I'm sure it wasn't pixels. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Oh, no. I yeah. don't think so. So it was fine. Yeah. It was fine. Uh, but the book was a lot better from my memory. And at least, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're leaving. <laughs> I'm hot. It is hot. Thanks for smacking my knee. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. And thanks for everybody watching. Yeah. Uh, did video games ever get a mad movie about the evils of video game, like mazes and monsters? Like a don't play video games? Not a movie, I don't think. Probably like little things. I have an idea for little, a stream. Like Christian warning videos or something, probably. Yeah. What? Uh, we should do. We should do. Um, uh, uh, what do you what do you call it? Um games about movies no when you when you watch a movie and you give a commentary on a really bad movie and do it live 
Uh, yeah. We can't watch it, I don't think. We no. watch it, but you guys can press play at the same time. Yeah, we'd have to pick. And we can online. chat and just complain about everything the whole... I think that would be a lot it, of fun. It would be an After Dark show, yeah. That would be a cool After Dark. MST3K ZPH edition. Rift yeah. Tracks, yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway. yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we'll pick one. But it would have to be a, a horrible film. Yeah, Hackers. You need to see Hackers. <laughs> That would be one. It's not, <laughs> it's not video game related, though. It'd have to be video game related. Yeah, to do it's it more on the computer show. related than video game yeah. related. We could always watch war games, but that's a good movie. That's a great movie. Yeah. Oh, my God. I saw that in the theater so many times, like five times. I don't remember seeing that. When I, I was like I, um, 12. Tron. I love Tron. Yep. It's fun. I have a poster right over there. Yeah, you do. He has a Tron poster. Are you going to show? Oh, he's going to show his Tron poster. You got to see this. So we have um, we have a fascination with Japanese movie posters, especially action films. So this is James's Tron Japanese poster. Can you put it for far enough back? It is gorgeous. Japanese the Japanese movie posters are gorgeous. Can you see that? Yep. So there it is. It is beautiful and red and blue colors. Yeah. This is an original from 1983. Yeah. Uh, issued in Japan. Um, we bought it in New York, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. Look at that. Yep. How cool is that? <laughs> Sorry. They The Japanese movie posters from the 90s are some of the best ones. And it has a certificate of authenticity. There you go. On the back. Very nice. This letter is to serve as a certificate of authenticity stating that it is the original issued in 1982 item to promote the theatrical release of Tron in Japan. Yeah. Very fun. It is gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also very, um, it's not faded or anything. It's, no, it's I wouldn't beautiful. buy a faded one. I want to show you all our posters now, but yeah. we'll save yeah, that not for either. our After Dark um, commentary. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're really leaving. We're really leaving now. <laughs> yeah. So have a good night. Have a good yes. weekend. Posterati. Yeah. Posterati. Oh yeah. That store is amazing. Oh. And the prices are pretty good too. Yeah. Not terrible. No. Yeah. And they give uh, discounts to filmmakers. Yeah. 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 There you go. <laughs> so whip out your filmmaker card and your authentic filmmaker mm -hmm. card. Um, so we'll see you on Tuesday for yeah. 8-Bit Games. Yeah. See you then. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.